forth talking back and forth. Thank you, John McLaughlin. Issue one. Na 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 nu na 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 nu. Hey hey. Goodbye. Robin Williams. Len Casper tweeted a very sad reminder today that a lot of the best comedy comes from a lot of pain and darkness, and that's why I like Len Casper because he gets us through the pain and darkness of the Chicago Cubs with his dry humor. But that's beside the point right now. Your views on the career of Robin Williams, Eleanor Clift. Well, you know, I'm not uh, such a fan of the zany, madcap, applause-a-meter type comedy, but uh, as a dramatic actor, he, he was excellent at Good Will Hunting, Good Morning Vietnam, Dead Poet Society. He was really a, a good actor when he was in dramatic roles, I think more so than comedic roles, at least for me. But in terms of the darkness, you know, part of the darkness, and this was Robin Williams admitting it, his need to be loved, his need for fame, and to feed the fame monster. And um, that that's, should be a reminder, particularly to people in show business, about uh, the, uh, the pit that is feeding that monster. Uh, I liked, uh, this is the fire's breasts on fire. Uh, I saw that in the movies. It's very poignant. And it, was, it was very, very funny to see her, uh, the breasts on fire. You knew it was coming. I hope you're tapped but, for you, the eulogy. He, the, and by the way, oh, 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 this is a cautionary tale for comedians. You could tell them it all you want. They can't do anything about it. It's a cautionary, it's a cautionary tale for human beings. Don't be your own god. Again, there's nothing you can do about it. You're going to be your own god. People can change. Okay. Really? You think so? To improve is to change. Churchill, did, not did, me. Did he say that as uh, the therapist to uh, Goodwill Hunting? No. He might have that, said that. That was, that was Churchill who said that, actually. All right. Did he quote that? Because, you know, no. I understand Robin Williams. Somebody you should really see Goodwill Hunting. Somebody was Get telling me it. that Robin Williams actually, maybe it's too soon here, if you Google Robin Williams stealing jokes, that he was notorious for doing that. Stealing everybody's joke. How do you steal a riff? You can't. He was making that up on the fly. I say he was just taking those jokes and making them something better. Okay. By compiling, just like Steve Jobs took the mouse that Xerox created and turned it into something better. It's not stealing. Shakespeare stole from Plutarch. Don't get me going. Robin Williams was a genius, okay? Because of Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah. And in Garp. And so I saw Garp too. Patch Adams, a little oleaginous. All right. Now, wait a minute. Yep. Na 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 nu, na 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 nu. Hey, hey, goodbye. It's okay. I see the symmetry there. Issue two. Thank you, John McLaughlin. Did he say uh, issues? That's okay. It, the issue's understood. ISIS, thank you. ISIS. Now, just to level the playing field, shouldn't we be supplying the Kurds with some heavy artillery so that they can face up against the or face off against the uh, armored vehicles that ISIS got by st stealing them or taking it from the Iraqis whom we had supplied? Shouldn't we do that, Jack Jamon? Yeah, I mean, I think giving the, the Kurds and other religious minorities some cover to fight their own battles, or at least to participate in fighting their own battles, is important. But the, the real question is not that. The real question is, are we going to go after ISIS, not just in Iraq, but potentially in Syria as well, and try and dismantle that terror network? Because, frankly, we're the only ones with the capacity to do so. Thank you, John McLaughlin. Issue three, page one of the Tribune, on the road, Emmanuel moves left. Apparently he's at a mayor's conference in New York. And kudos to uh, Bill Ruth Hart, uh, the Tribune reporter who's been investigating the uh, Rahm administration. He does a Tom Wolf, a new journalism kind of turn in this piece in which he juxtaposes the talk about uh, minimum wage and all these uh, democratic principles against the setting of Gracie Mansion in New York with its chandeliers and all the... the Marble rich, columns. Yes, yes, and the, you know, the Leonard Bernstein type uh, dinners that he would have for the Black Panthers. But anyway, uh, Rahm is a little late to the party, according to Karen Lewis, who says, my question is, why did it take Rahm three and a half years to discover universal pre-K? Why did it take three and a half years to discover a minimum wage? Because you're do, busy doing what? Closing schools, demoralizing the police department, and creating a mess? That's his real record. 
I just can't wait till Karen Lewis is the mayor and she finds the money to subsidize all these wonderful things that she wants for everybody. Am I right about that? Freddie Bonds. Well, Rahm is clearly moving to the left. He went out there for a photo op with de Blasio to, so he could bring that picture back and show all the progressives how progressive he is. Uh, but, you know, instead of the $13 minimum wage, why doesn't Rahm just get every Chicagoan a phony baloney investment banking job for two years? Why doesn't he get him a do-nothing uh, board seat on Freddie Mac with stock options? That was not a phony baloney job. That was a man wedding the uh, Bruce Rauner, as a matter of fact, of all people, with the dailies, bringing them together and creating a synergy there sure. that would result in the vigorish of like $15 million for Rahm Emanuel. Because there was no way that Bruce Rauner and Bill Daly would have ever met oh, no, no, no. but for Rahm Emanuel. I would, have, I would have hired Karen Lewis as the investment banker and had them, hey, Bill, Bruce, Bruce, Bill, now give me $15 million so that we can start a universal pre-K in the Chicago Public School. And how about Freddie Mac and the great job they did in making uh, home ownership uh, more accessible to middle-income families? Cujo's to Rahm Emanuel.